Hi everyone, it's Ross here. Um, I'm just going to show you um, a quick demo of um, how to squat properly. Um, I'm going to use a kettlebell. Uh, this version is called a goblet squat. Um, it doesn't have to be a kettlebell, it be a dumbbell, weight plate, whatever you want to do. I'm just going to do the exercise, explain a few things. Um, just teach you how to, prove how to squat properly. This is something I use with all my clients as well. A uh, good way to learn to squat. Um, it teaches good cues and um, keeps your form nice and tight, okay? So if I'm just going to show you here and we go over some key points, okay? So I'm going to demonstrate it. Um, talk a little bit as I do it and explain as well after, okay? Okay, so you just hold up dumbbell, kettlebell, whatever you've got, um, a weight plate, bottle, doesn't really matter. So feet, shoulder width apart, you don't want to too narrow, so you don't want to go too wide, okay? So there, eyes in front, all right, important thing, shoulders back and down, lock them in place, okay? They don't move, your back is tight as you can get it. So what you're going to do, you're going to descend down slowly. So you initiate, push hips back and sit there. Don't push your hips, keep pushing them back, okay? So down, okay? So you can go sit down, and back up, here you go. So again, initiate a little bit with your hips, drawing your belly button, shoulders back and down, as you front down, and back up, okay? So down slow, force, explode through. So hips back, and then down, and up, okay? If you're holding the weight like this, you can sit down in the correct place, okay? So you're just down, and up, again. You use whatever you want into a kettlebell. You put your arms in, and just down, and back up. Um, yeah, so key point is that, if you have your ear from over there, shoulders back and down, keep them locked in, that's the most important thing. People don't tend to worry about how tight they can get their upper body when they squat. Really important, the tight you get your upper body, the easier it's going to be to sit down in a squat, it's going to stop you falling forward. It's going to stop you using your lower back, so what happens if you fall forward, I'm going to show you, keep falling forward. You shift it with your lower back, shoulders back and down, down, and you stay in that position. Um, you're gonna keep a neutral spine, everything's nice and safe. Um, another big problem, feet slightly wide and shoulder width apart, you can point your toes out slightly if you need to, um, whatever you find more comfortable, okay? Um, yeah, people either go too narrow or too wide. If you go too narrow, you can, you can have to go down a lot lower to get that. If you go too wide, you just not gonna get anything. So you know what I mean? If you go too narrow, you have a really hard time going down. You're really wide, you're not doing much, okay? Uh, so shoulder width apart, not too wide, not too narrow. Um, yeah, you initiate it with your hips, you push hips back, then you sit down, okay? Don't keep pushing your hips back, 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 like I just showed you then, and using your lower back to shift there. So again, a really, really important thing people don't think about, shoulder blades back and down. Keep your upper body as tight as you can, okay? That's a really important point there, in my, in my opinion. Uh, the tight you get your body, you'll watch it, how easy it is to get down. It's so much easier to get down, the flexibility and everything's better. So shoulder blades back and down, keep on locked in the whole time, okay? The upper body as tight as you can. It's just your legs doing this movement, nothing else, okay? Again, so you push your hips back and then you sit down. So, show sure you again. So, see a bit better from there. You just push your hips back and then you're sitting down. You're not going back, back, back to get it, okay? That's not what you're doing. Hips back and down, okay? Um, depth wise, just work to what you're comfortable with. Go as low as you can. Um, as you warm up, you might find you start loosening up and you get a bit lower, but don't force it, okay? So just before we finish, that was a goblet squat. Again, you can use a kettlebell, um, dumbbell, weight plate, bottle. Just make sure you've got something in your chest. If you don't want to do that, use your arms, okay? Both shoulders back and down, keeps you locked in. Keep irons, shoulders back and down, keep them locked in, keep your upper back, your whole back actually tight. Okay, so hips back. So initiate with your hip, push your hips back and then sit down. Don't keep pushing hips back, back, back. You push back and then you break your knees and go down. Okay, so make sure you're doing that. A lot of people keep pushing hips back and use the lower back and you like shift it like that. You're not hips back, down. Okay, initiate with your hips and you sit down. Keep doing that up, keeps your chest up. You sit down, stops you using your lower back, okay? Um, yeah, feet, shoulder width apart. Don't go too wide, don't go too narrow. Um, your feet, you can point your toes out slightly, I'll have them straight. Depends on what you find comfortable, okay? Yeah, but that's gonna be a key point, is. Um, and that's how to squat properly. Another good thing as well, that's just a basic one. If you, um, you're gonna find everyone's mechanically a bit different, so this is where, this is gonna be a plug. <laughs> a personal trainer comes really in handy. Um, I know, I look at all my clients, I see how they're moving, and then we, adjust we use different exercises depending on how they built and um, the strengths and weaknesses so that's why a trainer is a big mess in my opinion 
that's a little plug for me. Alright, thanks for watching everyone.